Yeah, been thinking I might need to. Okay, Get hello, hello. Welcome, nerds of YouTube. So, what we're going to do today, I'm going to try and show you how to get my NeoVim set up in less than five minutes. A lot of people say that they think it's super complicated and it's not. I've provided you with dot files. You got the goods, okay? You got the goods. So, let's go ahead and do it. So, I've already got the repos for Vimplug and NeoVim open. So, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building NeoVim from source so that we have the latest version of NeoVim. My dot files are going to give you all the plugins that you need that you see me use on my stream. And Vimplug is basically just a tool that we're going to have to install so that it will pull and download all of the plugins that are defined in my dot files. So, let's get after it. So, First thing we're going to do, uh, this is a fresh VM. So this has literally nothing installed. Um, I'm not even going to get into like installing ZSH or anything like that. I will do that in a separate video because we want to keep this short and sweet. Okay, so let's do, um, I think I even have to install Git. So let's, uh, let's install Git. And then once we do that, then we'll be able to clone these things and it'll be great. So yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. So. Now let's do git clone. Um, we're just gonna clone my little dot files. It's gonna clone into dot files. That's great. And then all we're gonna have to do for that is, um, let me actually zoom this in because I don't even know if you can see it. So what we're gonna do after that is we're basically just going to copy the NeoVim folder in my config, copy that NeoVim into the dot config file in on your machine. But Let's go ahead and start installing NeoVim. So this one, um, we're just on the official NeoVim repo. Let's just go to uh, building from source. So building NeoVim, open up that little wiki page, get in there, get the build uh, prerequisites. So this one, I actually did this yesterday and a couple of these don't have an installation candidate. So what we're gonna need to do is we're just gonna have to like delete those from what we're installing because that actually stopped any of them from installing and then I wasn't able to build the package. So just delete those. Uh, whatever ones don't install, just 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 remove it from the command and you'll be okay. So we're just gonna install those dependencies and I'll be right back. All right, so we just finished installing those dependencies. Uh, so we've got all the build prerequisites. Now let's, we're just gonna clone, um, clone the repo from source. So it's going to create a NeoVim folder for you in your home, in your like home directory. And then I'm just going to copy the next command before I go ahead and get started with that. All right, cool. So we've cloned NeoVim into its own folder. So now I'm just going to paste the other command, which is we're going to go into the NeoVim directory and hit make. And so this is going to take a little bit. Um, I don't know, it takes a few minutes. So I'm just going to pause it and start recording again when that's done. Okay, cool. So it just finished building uh, NeoVim. So now we're going to go and do the final command, which is sudo make install, which is actually going to like install it in the system. So we'll just go ahead and do that and it's going to install. That one's really quick, so that's awesome. And then now if we do neovim-v, you can see that we we are at neovim 0.7 dev version. All right, so that's awesome. And then the next thing that we have to do is install vimplug. So let me get over here, vimplug. All right, cool. So now it's super easy. So skip past the Vim one. We'll go straight to the NeoVim one for Linux, Unix and Linux. Um, go ahead and do that. We'll just paste that. I think it's going to tell me I have to install curl. No. Okay. Curl is already installed. Awesome. If not, you could always do uh, sudo apt-get install curl and it's already installed. So that's what you would, that's what you would run if you, if it was telling you that curl wasn't installed. All right, cool. So now we've got Vimplug installed. We've got all of that. We've got our dot files. Let's go into the, um, let's go into dot files and ls. Let's, oh, actually we'll have to do lsa because these are all hidden files. Um, so let's go into the config. All right. And then here I'm just going to move uh, NeoVim and I'm going to move that to the config file that exists um, in our home directory. So now we've actually got NeoVim in there. So that's awesome. It's got all the plugins, all the setup, everything. 
So let's just go open up NeoVim. It's gonna give me all of these errors because we haven't installed the plugins yet, which is fine, that's what we're about to do. So you can just kind of skip through these. Now we've got NeoVim open, and because we've got the plugin in, we've got Vim plug installed, we can just run plug install, and it's gonna install all of the plugins that are defined in my init.vim file. And that's all good believe there we go yeah so that all completed fine it just gave me an error i just hit r to read to try and redo it now if i restart vim that looks exactly like what i have set up on my machine so i'll do a follow-up video to this um because i want to keep it short and sweet but i'll do a follow-up video to this as well of basically how you can get um the native lsp working because right now i need to install go and i need to install the language server so in order to get go syntax highlighting and support i need to install the language install the uh, language server and then uh, my dot files will actually pick up on that so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that in another video. I hope this was helpful. I hope this really helps simplify and help you understand how you can use dot files and yeah, just just nab nab my config and that'll that'll fix everything. It's fine. And I'll just mention as well that um, my init.vim, I have some keybinds that I've that I've mapped out myself. Some are in the Lua file, some are in my init.vim. And you can change any of those to be whatever you want. If you find all of your all of your commands that you have available, you'll be able to run in the terminal window like this. So and then if I hit tab, it'll show me all of the all of the options. I don't even have tree sitter installed right now, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, it, it'll show you all of the options for that command. Um, here you can actually just do a colon and then tab and you can see all of these. So you can remap these to any keybinds that you want. So you can like tweak it into your own workflow that works best for you. But I just wanted to mention that in case you're a little bit confused about where to go from here. So I hope this helps. Okay, bye. See you next time.